Welcome everybody to another straightening episode of Lockdown 23 and 1. That's right, today we got a straightening as well as an update on the home improvement star Zachary Bryan. Ah man, you know, I'm rooting for this guy and he keeps letting me down. We just did a video on another day, Zachary Bryan, he was the troublemaker in home improvement. Was he the middle child or the oldest? I can't even remember. Either way, uh, today I'm going to break down exactly why he was arrested, where he was arrested, as well as, like I said, a straightening. So, if this is what you're into, all things lock up and crime related, then this is exactly where you need to be. Hit that like, subscribe, notification bell before you leave, and check out my playlist with many more videos for you to start watching today. Mr. Zachary Bryan, one of my favorite home improvement stars, like I already said, got caught up in the mix once again with a felony DUI, or at least that's what it says on the website. A lot of times these felony DUIs are dropped in misdemeanors, believe it or not. As long as you finish the courses, you know, blowing in the little interlock. I had to do that for my first DUI, you know, and I don't even drink, right? I still, to this day, haven't had a drink in probably years. I never had good luck drinking. I always ended up in lockup, so I gave that away pretty quick. But those interlocks and AA class, I don't know exactly what they do nowadays. It's been so long, but... I would guess it probably hasn't changed too much. Either way, when you get a DUI, it's a very stressful situation. You gotta do a lot of stuff that the courts recommend. Unless it's like your third or fourth, then you're going straight to prison. Anyways, this is the report uh, for Mr. Zachary. It looks like he was arrested by La Quinta PD. He is six foot tall, 185, hair brown. No, from the last one, it was Sandy Blonde. How dare they just put a funky brown up there? Eyes blue? Well, last time he said they were aqua blue. I'm just playing, man. I'm just playing. He didn't say that, but he did say sandy blonde. Current facility, John Bennett Detention Center. But it also says that he has a misdemeanor contempt of court here. I don't know if that's why they went to go him him up, or if maybe he got arraigned in the, you know, courtroom and started snapping. Now, because you can go to court pretty quick once you get there. Usually, it's like the next morning, you can go in front of the judge and get arraigned for your court date, or see if they're going to give you a bond or something. And, you know, he might be mad that he didn't get a bond down there uh, in the booking area, or with the judge, and just snapped on television or wherever he was at. I don't know. I'm just assuming. And that's what we're going to be speaking about as well, like... This story right here, it's short. There ain't nothing else that I can kick your way about it. I'm just giving you what they're saying. The articles that I read. And I wish him the best. I hope he turns his life around. I think he has still a lot of opportunity and talent to make himself larger than ever once again. If they reboot that home improvement show with all the stars, I don't know if they're still alive or not. But man, that would bring some numbers. Not even playing, man. That was an amazing show. But anyways, moving on to the straightening. We've been following Mr. Masterson's case as well. A lot of people have been following it, which is cool, you know. Uh, it's it's to be expected. Everybody loved that 70s show. You could have probably predicted that all these people were going to be following the situation. But anyways, I do believe it's been getting spiced up, right? Spiced up a bit. Um, and what I mean by that is, you know, people are getting intel from inmates, Right? From what I hear, people are getting intel from inmates, and these inmates are doing time in the prison that he's at, are saying stuff like they got hits out on him, he's been attacked. Look, it could all be very possible. I'm not here to say it didn't happen, but this is the straightening, all right? I don't bring nothing your way unless I'm reading it from an article that's already been published. You know how many inmates come my way with intel, show me flooded floors and all that stuff? Look, you gotta remember, these are inmates. I didn't trust 99% of them when I was in prison. I ain't gonna trust them now. See, I think people tend to forget what kind of people are in prison. A lot of good guys, but there's a lot of scam artists. Look, I had someone send me a video of a cell flooded. Turned out, I found out that that guy was just setting it up so I could react to it and bring some light to whatever he wanted going on in that prison. I literally found out from someone else across from him in the cell block that he was just making it all up, poured the water on the floor, him damn self, right? But I wasn't never going to use that guy's video. That's one rule, major rule I have. I don't take intel from inmates like that because it could be completely wrong. It could get someone killed if it's true or not. So I don't take any kind of intel from inmates that are still locked up. I mean, I hear from them and I listen to them. I don't even have them on the show to tell a story. I tell them, look, bro, when you get out, you got a spot on the channel. But until then, I can't do nothing, man. I apologize, but I wish you the best of luck. 
A lot of these guys are hitting me up from cell phones that aren't even legal. What if they trace those phones back to me and him and then everybody gets shaken down? Then guess what? I'm to blame because I put all the intel out with the guy on camera. Even down to reacting to prison videos, man. There's certain things that I could really show. But I know that if someone's seen it, that guy would get tricked up. That's why I try to just bring, you know, the comedy side of things when it comes to prison. With the reactions, you know, or... Something that even if someone's seen it, they ain't going to care. They're cooking food. Okay, man, we're not going to waste our time, valuable resources, go find this guy whipping up burritos. So I just wanted to let y'all know that I only go by what I'm reading from news articles. Every inmate death that I've done in the last month or so, it's all in an article. Might be an article that nobody's ever read. So I bring it to y'all. But it's there. I don't add nothing to them and I don't remove nothing. If I do, I always let people know it's a guess, a gamble. I'm assuming. And then, you know, some people will come on the channel and speak about organizations and stuff. I don't really like to speak about that. But at the same time, if it's something that a lot of people already know, it's common knowledge, I let them speak on it. If they're dropout gangs or something, of course, that's what people are going to have to see if they go to these PC units in certain prisons or S&Y yards, I apologize, and uh, other states as well. You know, when people start speaking about certain things, I have to make sure that it is pretty much common knowledge. Anything more than that. I have to say you're just speaking too much, right? So uh, I try to deal with principles and respect for everybody, even the people that you know probably don't deserve it. I just try to give you the honest reality of prison. And that was the main focus on bringing all these individuals onto my channel to tell their prison story from different states. So they could get the common knowledge of that state in that prison. And that means sometimes speaking about the gangs that are in it. Anything more than that is too much if you're to ask me. And name the name of the guy that brought you into it? No, I'm going to edit all that out. And I tell people all the time, look, man, I ask them questions in interviews and stuff that probably I know I would never put on the video. It's just for me to know so I can guide the video in its right direction. I ask him certain questions. Hey, before I even get going, were you part of an organization? Yeah. Okay, well, look, it's up to you to mention it. I wouldn't recommend it, though. And they usually don't. You know, and if they do and they start speaking about something a little too much, I end up editing it out. Once again, though, I'm not here to prove anybody right or wrong, man. That content creator can run his ship however he wants. I'm just letting you know how I run mine. Anyways, that's it. I got to go get my teeth lightened. That's right. They're getting lightened today. But wish me luck. You know, it's been a long time since I've been in the dentist. In the meantime, though, as always, ladies and gentlemen, look, if you're new, hit that like, subscribe, notification bell before you leave. If you've been here, send me $50 on Cash App. I'm just playing, man. I'm just playing. I don't even have Cash App. Oh, I love y'all, man. Y'all be easy out there. And uh, more importantly than anything, stay free.